The government of Kogi State has urged the youth not to relent in their political participation. As the Southwest Youth Political Conference held in Lagos State, Nigeria's commercial capital, a number of Kogi State government officials urged the gathering of Kogi indigents to emulate the footsteps of the state governor, Yaya Bello, who is currently the youngest governor in Nigeria, and be more active in matters of governance. The conference, which was themed towards a youth political conference 2023 general election, had in attendance the Kogi State Chief of Staff, Abdul Karim Asuku, who said it's time for Nigerian youths to take charge come 2023. What is this telling you? That we have had youth who bring Nigeria to what we have today. And that agility is required to govern over 200 million people. What are we doing today? We are electing retirees to decide the fate of over 200 million. That is why Nigeria we are where we are today. So when you say the youth are asking for power, they are not asking for power because they are challenging the senior citizen for nothing. It's because of the pitiable situation of our country today. And what youth have been able to achieve in the past, and what the envisage that will be able to achieve if you happen to gain power today. I mean, come 2023. So if you have youth deciding the fate of our nation, it is going to be youth o'clock. Energy is required in political system. If civil service is placing 60 years of age as retirement, at 37, I'm a chief of staff. If you look close, you see that I've got a glowing gray hair. That is the pressure that comes with political office. What more of a retiree? We keep recycling presidency, bringing retiree, anybody above 60, I mean retiree, to come and decide our fate. And we are saying no. They have done so much, and we respect them. They should go take advisory role, be advising us, so that we can have youth that will pilot the affair of this country, as we have had it before in the past. We're not asking for too much. And then we're not going to do it via what any you know, violence means. It's going to be via the ballot box. That's why we're encouraging you to come out and take their PVC. Because 2023 is going to be what? Transition.